Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back with quick hits. I'll be back later today to do a, a recap of tonight's show as well. Um, but uh, Josh Kelly, good day so far. We had the uh, card in Italy, uh, which you can watch on YouTube, uh, which Ivan Zuko and Sandor Martin got wins. Uh, Zuko, uh, both fighters looked really good. Uh, but we're going to talk about Josh Kelly real quick. We're going to get into that performance. I have some thoughts on that. Uh, before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Quick hits comes at you every day, uh, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms. Also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research uh, and recovery. All right. Look, Josh Kelly can dominate guys all day. Okay, uh, Gabriel Corzo, a guy like that, no problem. Um, not, not a bad fighter, you know, but not a world class fighter. No, no, no power to speak. It's just eight, uh, just three knockouts in his eighteen wins. Um, he, he last knocked out a guy who was 16, 13, and two back uh, back last May. Um, and besides that, you go through his his, his resume. It, it's all. UDs, he got a, a knockout in his third fight. Um, anyway, it's not important. It, look, not not a terrible fighter, um, but not a world class fighter either. And I, I tweeted, I want to see Josh Kelly. I, I don't want to see him win every round. I, I want to see him bite down, let his hands go, get a stoppage, put his punches together, hurt Corzo, force the ref's hand. I'm not saying I so put him out cold. I understand he's not a puncher. You can get guys like this out. And I need you to get guys like this out in the future. Um, I, I need something that you can establish something that you can hurt. This is still the hurt business. I need you to establish yourself that you can sit down, commit to your punches, and hurt your opponent. It looked like briefly in the fourth round that that's what he was going to do. And then the second half of the fight, um, I, I gave him every round. I know one of the judges gave Corzo three rounds. I'm not sure what three rounds he gave him. Dominant performance, not, not the issue. But again, the second half of the fight, he just let him off the hook, just let Corzo survive, outclassed him, jabbed him, moved. He threw some nice lead hooks. He did good things. Like, I'm not saying Josh Kelly sucks. I actually think he's pretty good. But if he wants to win a world title, if this is the level he wants to compete at, he's going to have to commit to his punches more. He's going to have to sit down and really commit, right? Because, like, he. He's fought two. He's got two blemishes on his record. He's fought two guys that operate, I guess you could say, at the world class level. Uh, Ray Robinson got a draw. All right, he's winning. Let Robinson come back. Uh, David Avenesian. He was dominating Avenesian, and then Avenesian broke him down, stopped him in six. That was for the European welterweight title. Goes up to fifty four. Runs off some wins. I guess we can call Troy Williamson um, a world-class fighter, I guess, I suppose. Has Troy Williamson ever fought anyone uh, at an international level? Um, yeah, I, I know Troy's got some decent wins. Uh, Ted Cheeseman, Kieran Smith, like that. I, I don't think he's got any. Dario Sochi. Uh, I, I guess Italian fighter, so he, he's got a European level win. Um, those are the three names he has in his resume, so he's won one on one against those guys. What I'm saying is, if he wants to go up and, and, and fight for a world title, Jamel Charlo has all the belts right now. He's not going to st style and school and outclass. Jamal Jamel Charlo, I'm sorry, Jamel Charlo, the way he did 
Corzo, right? Okay, I, I agree. I'm with y'all that Charles is going to go up to 168, and he's not going to fight at 154 again. After the Canelo fight, I, I believe he will fight at 54. I mean, at 60, at 160. I'm sorry, he'll fight at 160. So right now, we got Josh Kelly is, is highly ranked, ranked in the top 10 in two of the sanctioned organizations. Uh, in the WBO, he's ranked number two. I would imagine after this win, which was for their what 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 do they call about what what do they call this ridiculous about that they have now? Uh, I, I want to get this right. The WBO International Superweight Title, so WBO International, which is somehow different than the world. If you understand the difference, please let me know. Right? He would fight Tim. Let's say Charlo vacated, he'd fight Tim Zoo. That's who he'd fight for that belt. Is he going to beat Tim Zoo this way? Is he going to beat Charlo this way? No, those guys are going to. I mean, he, he might win some rounds, but he's going to get. His skills are really good. He's quick. He's got good reflex. He's got good skills. He's not Shakur Stevenson, right? He doesn't commit. You got to commit to your punches. This is still the hurt business. You got to slowly break down your guy. You're not going to outclass these guys, right? You're not Pernell Whitaker. Pernell Whitaker got stops early in his career. Uh, he's also ranked seven by the IBF. Matursilev is ranked number one. Background Matursilev is ranked number one. Is he going to be a puncher like that? Is he going to be? Hey, Ramos is ranked third. Is he going to be a guy like that? Charles Conwell's ahead of him. Going to be any of those guys fighting like this? Let me know. You know, look. He's got to pick it up. He's got skills. He hurt Corzo in the fourth round. Let your hands go. Get him out. I'm not saying you got to be a puncher, but you got to try to hurt your opponent. This is still boxing. It's still a hurt business. You got to hurt your opponent. You got to break him down. You can't just try to win rounds like an amateur fight and try to let it go to the judges. It's a terrible, terrible, terrible idea. And you can see it has not worked. It didn't work against Ray Robinson. He faded and, and Avenisian, who can hit, stopped him. If you can't hit, you're going to even up the fight in the second half. If you can hit, you're going to stop them. That's the reality of the matter. And I, I like Josh Kelly, but I tweeted that for a reason, because I, I want to see what he has. I want to see him up. I think he's got world-class skills, but that's not going to be enough. Without without world-class determination, uh, without, without you know biting down and, and you know letting your hands go, and, and and getting comfortable being uncomfortable, standing in front of him, throwing power shots in combination, committing to him, and trying to hurt your opponent and get him out. A guy like that, you can outclass him. We, we all know Josh Kelly can box circles around this level, fight it for days. But that's not going to do anything. Um, it's a good performance from Josh Kelly. I just wanted to see a stoppage. I want to see him, you know, break him down, get stoppage, get him out. That's not what we saw. Uh, it's a good performance. Josh Kelly's got really good skills. Uh, but I, I just don't think it's going to be enough. Doing this is going to be enough against world championship fighter. I don't think he beats any of those guys I just named. Conwell, Ramos, J J Jamel, Zoo. Um, who else do we name? I, I don't think he beats any of them. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, all forms, social media. Quick hits comes at you every day. We'll be back later today as well uh, to recap the other two fights, the Bum Gardner card and uh, Frank Martin. Uh, it is July 15th, 2023 from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.